Hey guys, if you didn't see part 1, I put a link to the video in the description below. Be sure to watch that one before you watch this one. Take note of the key to press to get into your boot menu. Go ahead and plug in your USB installer that you made in part 1. Then go ahead and turn on your computer. Once you see the BIOS screen, press the boot menu hotkey repeatedly until you're in the menu. In there, select your UEFI USB installer. Once you're in Clover, select Boot Mac OS Install from Install Mac OS Mojave. Now, your system may not boot up correctly. If that happens, post a new discussion on the Mark with Tech forum. Be sure to include your system specs as well as a picture of the issue. Link in the description below. Once you're booted into the installer, go into Disk Utility. In here, click the sidebar menu options at the top left and select Show All Devices. Now, select your drive and press Erase. Make sure your options are the same as mine and select Erase. Once it completes, go ahead and exit Disk Utility. Now click on Install Mac OS. Go through the steps, select your drive, and let it install. This is stage one of the install. It's only copying over the files from the installer to your main drive. When it's finished copying the files, your computer will reboot. When your computer restarts, boot back into your USB installer using the same key you did before. Select Boot Mac OS Install Prebooter from Preboot to finish the installation. Your computer will reboot one more time. Boot back into the USB installer, then select Boot File Vault Prebooter from Preboot. Set up Mac OS like normal. We need to download and install the required files to make the drive bootable. You can find links to these files in the description below. You will need fake smc.kext, generic USB xhci.kext, USB inject all.kext, and the Clover EFI bootloader. I also downloaded the Ethernet kext that matches my network chipset. If you don't already have a config.plist file, then download my pre-configured one. This will prevent some issues when booting. Now we move on to installing the Clover EFI bootloader. First, open the install file, press continue, continue, next, Press Customize and have these options checked. And finally, it's time to open up the EFI partition. In here, open the EFI folder, then Clover. You'll want to replace the config.plist file now. Once you do that, open the kex folder, then Other. In here, drop in the .kex files that you need for your system. If you have any issues, please post your issues on the Mark with Tech forum. Me, as well as some other people, will gladly assist you with your issues. Thank you guys for watching, subscribe for more semi-annually produced Hackintosh content, and I hope you guys have a great day.